Okay, everybody, so off to meet John this morning. We're going to do a little bit at uh, Morgan Porth. We've got a couple of videos to make for for Milesy. Um, also got some other videos we want to do as well for the channel. This video is going to be a little bit of a update as to how it's going so far with the game and what sort of ideas I've got for the next six months or so. Plus like a little goal that I've got that I want to try to work on or work towards, we'll say. Still trying to get the handicap down, but let's get the clubs in the car and we'll have a little chat on the way. So how is the game at the moment? Um, I'm shooting around my handicap, which is, well, I guess, what it's there for. Um, I haven't improved. Uh, shooting between 78 and 80, 81 on a few quite a few times. Um, I say most of my golf has been playing on course vlogs, stuff like that. So I haven't been able to keep like a score going, see how I'm doing. Um, I've got a little spreadsheet that I use that I can work out parts of my parts of the game that need improving. And I think probably as most of you have seen on the vlogs um, when we're playing the scrambles. But we do make a joke about it that, oh, why are you practicing your long putts? Well, I don't hit it close. That is quite possibly the big part of my game that needs improving at the moment. So what I'm going to be doing for the next probably month or so is really focusing on sort of 150 yards in, um, just trying to get it closer on the approach shots because I'm starting to hit Green to regulation a lot more, so putting it on the green. However, I'm not getting it close enough to the hole, so that is something I need to start working on. I'm going to start start from the shortest, really. So I'm going to be starting from about 30 yards, working my way all the way up to 150, just trying to focus on getting that ball as close to the pin as I can. Um, whether that's using contours, sometimes. Yeah, you do need to not fire at the pin, fire at the heart of the green. So obviously I'll be using that, making the call for the shot when you, when the right shot is needed. However, yes, I do need to start getting the ball closer on the prank shots. Um, I've got a couple of little drills that I've used in the past for, for working that out, really. Um, one thing I'll do is... The range at West Corbel is pretty good for this because it's a grass range, turf range. So you're getting a feel on the shots as you're hitting them in, you're getting the turf interaction, which is brilliant. Um, so I've got my little ball of practice bags that I take with me. What I do is I'll walk that out. Um, I'm not, I don't pre-measure the distance, so I'll just walk out, drop the bag down, walk back, fire a uh, range finder at it, get a reading for distance, and then it'll go from there working out, you know, whether it's 78 yards, 85, 98, whatever, and hitting shots to that and trying to, only hitting 20 balls, but trying to get those balls within as close proximity to that bag as possible. Now, what's quite good about the range at West Cornwall is there is a slope uh, going from left to right on that practice range when you're hitting to about 100, up to, well, probably between like 50 and 120 yards as a slope left to right. So... I can then use that slope, pretending it's a green or a bank or, or some way of firing it into a pin. So, really going to start to focus on that and hopefully that will pay a little bit of dividends. Definitely the long game is is getting a bit better, the driver is not as wayward as it was. Um, one thing I realised that I was doing is I wasn't gripping the club and aligning the face square. So. Sounds like a stupid thing to not do, but I was gripping the club, and what I thought was square wasn't. So now I'm taking, making more of a conscious effort to square that club face up before I address the ball, and it seems to be working so much better on drives. The middle irons, well, I say mid irons, four iron down to six, seven iron. That that will need work, but I'm going to focus more on that shorter side of the game. Um, because that's where you score, that's where you need to hit the ball close, you need to get the ball on the green, you need to get it within puttable distance. I'm setting myself up for birdie putts, however, 
those birdie putts are 30, 40 foot. I need to turn that 30, 40 foot into sub 20 foot putts. And I think that will help massively in trying to get the handicap down. I just love this Cornish summertime traffic. Um, half term here in the UK and yeah, five mile an hour stuck behind a bus. Absolutely loving it. Goal is still to get the handicap down and I want to try to get it around that four mark because it's my original goal, it's my original target, it's where I want my game to be. Yes, I'd love to chase Scratch, but in all honesty, I think Scratch is a long call for me. Um, so, say so realistically, four is going to be the goal still. However, this year, I have a little bit of a target, a little bit of a, an achievement that I want to unlock. Um, there's one course in Cornwall um, that absolutely destroys me every time I play. Now, many of you that have played St. Malian will know that the Nicholas course is a tough course. And I've never shot a good round there. Um, I think the last round I played, I shot, I scored 100, I shot 120, which was absolutely soul destroying. It just beat me up, ripped me to shreds, spat me out. And this year, I want to break that course. Uh, I've been sat down. I've been I've been looking at the scorecard. I've been looking and looking and speaking to people that have played there. Not many people do shoot lower than the handicap there. However, if I remember rightly, the Nicholas course is a par seventy-two. Now, I want to set myself a goal of breaking eighty around there. So if I break eighty around there, I'm shooting one under my, my, um, my handicap index. And that, I think personally, around that course would be fantastic. Especially considering how I've played there before and what scores I've shot around there in the past. So this year, I'm going to try to arrange to go with John, um, maybe a couple of the other guys as well. I've been debating, do we film it? However, if I shoot something like 100, it's not going to be entertaining for you guys at all. It will probably make me want to throw my clubs in the, uh, in the pond on number five. So I think the way we're going to work it, I need to speak with John, we're going to work it out. Uh, we're probably going to go there, play a bit of a maybe social match, because getting on to film a vlog at Somalian is really tough, because it is such a popular course, it is a prestige course in Cornwall. Um, and yes, trying to shoot, trying to play a round of golf and shoot a solo score is is not going to be that easy on film. We're going to probably take a phone, maybe a small camera. We'll film some shots. John will probably get my reaction to how I'm playing in the round. Going to be looking at doing that probably mid to late September. Um, just because the course quietens down, because summer in Cornwall, as some of you will know, is pretty busy. Um, so, yeah, we're going to plan that for mid to late September. Get out there, and I'm going to try to break 80 around the Nicholas course. I'm going to try to treat it like it's a big competition at a club. I'm going to treat it like I'm playing a competition there, so I need to get my mindset into shooting a round of golf, not hitting the ball as far as I can, which generally is what happens when we film the scrambles. I'm normally trying to get it down there as far as possible. But I'm gonna think while we're around the course as if I'm trying to put a proper score together. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you guys think of that. Give us a little, little comment below with what you sort of think of that challenge. I mean, I don't know if any of you have played it, what you think of the course. Do you know how tough it is? But yeah, that's going to be be my goal. Um, 
you know, to show it is a tough course. They play challenge tour events there. They've had Euro Pro as well. Back in the day, used to have the Benson and Hedges Invitational there as well, um, which I think the, call, the tournament got moved from there to, I think it was the Oxfordshire or something, because Malian was just so tough around the time of year they were playing. Um, yeah, that's kind of a, a little goal that a target, a goal, an achievement. I think I want to push myself towards. So back to it, back to practicing that 150 yard in game, really pushing myself and trying to get that ball as close to the hole as possible so I can get those putts rolling. Talking of putts rolling, um, I've switched out from my sink uh, putter, which is quite possibly the most beautiful putter I have ever had in my bag. Um, the most sentimental putter as well. However, it wasn't quite rolling for me. Um, I was struggling a little bit on 10 foot. I was struggling a bit on 10 foot and in. Um, so I've switched back to the two ball 10, which I do like. It's the stroke, it's got the stroke lab shaft in it. Uh, so it's slightly counterweighted. It does feel absolutely amazing on the parts. I find it so easy to line up. So I've moved back to that and I've seen parts per round drop by about four, four to five so far. Um, it's just carrying on working on the stroke. And I say it, it'll all add up and piece together by hitting the ball closer, which means I've got more of a chance to hold those putts for birdie rather than being stuck with a, a two part and you know 35 40 foot putt for the first part and not getting it close enough i'm risking a three putt it all comes back down to that 120 yards and in that is where the key is i think i think that is it that has got to be the key to getting this handicap down if I keep the ball in the fairway from the drive, which I have been doing most of the time, long line off the tee isn't too bad. Yeah, 150 yards in. I need to focus on that. So that's pretty much like outlined what I want to do. Um, I want to play it, what I got to work on, and a little achievement I want to do this year. Traffic now is starting to ease on the way to see John up at Morgan Porf. So let's carry on with the drive there. Well, let's, let's carry on. Good morning. How are you? What's up? What's up? I don't trust you when you have a camera in your hand. Uh, thanks. I've just been doing okay. a bit of filming on the way up and we're here to do some filming at Walker Puff. We are. Yes, that, that's the plan. Instagrammy, sure Miles C, content videos, a bit of all sorts. That's the hope, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Let's, get, let's get on the course. That'll be good. Weather is okay. I know. I do love that drive in when you see the course here. Yeah, well, I've got a towel to dry the buggy because it's been pouring down, mate. I know. <laughs> Clouds up there. Blue sky over there. It'll be fine. Let's hope it stays okay.
so that's that's pretty much where where the game is at the moment um a couple of days later now and he just can't stay out of the frame can he nope hello everybody i have no idea what this video is about but neil's edited it and he said it's really good we'll see so yeah thanks tom um so at the end of that video you see we was playing at um at morgan porth and actually ended up shooting only four over par so we put the score in with England golf we started out before the round and uh we said we'll put a score in today see how we get on and yeah four over i've had a handicap cut so down to eight now so i dropped the shot i think we're at 7.9 so the game is starting to progress it's starting to trend as you know i've got things to work on so i'm going to get working on those and um yeah let's see if we can push forward we'll try to break 80 at Somalian. let's uh Let's just get working at it. Here today, just at West Cornwall this morning, doing a bit of filming, another Cornish Quest video. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope the video makes sense. I hope it, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Now it's, um, I say, working, working towards it. And again, thanks for all your support. You're all fantastic out there. Thanks for watching and um, see you in the video soon. Yeah.